Good morning, children. How are you all? Are you fine? Let us continue our chapter. What is the name of the chapter? Food. Where does it come from? Okay. In the previous class, we discussed about two points. Which are they? Yes. Food variety and ingredients. And today, we are going to discuss more about food materials and their sources. Food materials. Food materials and their sources. We all know that fruits and their vegetables we get from plants and uh, from where we get rice and wheat we already mentioned in the previous class uh, these grains obtained from paddy field and wheat field ok so some other food product just like milk fish, meat, chicken, etc. All these we get from animals. Okay. So, some food items we get from plants and then some are from animals. Okay. So, you just take your textbook and refer the table. Table 1.3. Some food items. Uh, want to take earlier list. And write the uh, write in first column. And the ingredients of that food items. Uh, in second column. And the third column. Sources uh, should be there. Okay. For example. Here. Idli. What are the ingredients? Yes, we know uh, rice, urdadan, salt, water. And the sources of ingredients? Yes, uh, rice and urdadan we get from plants and salt from sea water and water from nature. Just like you have to write the table. And so from this activity, we can, activity 3, we can conclude all, uh, all food items. That means some ingredients we, uh, we get from plants. Uh, just like uh, grains, uh, vegetables and uh, fruits. Okay. Some from animals and next so next to point plant parts and animal products as food plant parts and animal products Fruits and vegetables we get from plants. And uh, we eat vegetables and we eat fruits, uh, sometimes stems, sometimes roots and uh, flower also. Uh, for example, in the case of mustard, in the case of mustard uh, plants, they, they give us oil and uh, the leaves used for vegetables. And some plants have more than one edible parts. What do you mean by edible? 
edible means eatable. Edible means eatable. So, for example, uh, can you think about banana tree? Yes. The parts of the plant we use as food item. Okay. And uh, about animal products, uh, we get milk from cow, goat, buffalo, etc. And uh, we can make uh, milk products also. Okay. So, uh, these are the important points. And in, in there is another table. Activity 4. Table 1.4. Plant parts as a food. From this activity we can understand the food items contain major uh, source plant. Major uh, source should be plant in the first column. And second column ingredients or source. And the third column we have to write plant part which is gives us the ingredient. From which plant part we get ingredients. Okay. So, uh, for example, brinjal curry is there. Ingredients also mentioned there. And uh, from which plant part? Uh, also from fruit. Okay. All these are the uh, all, all these are nice. And so you just uh, encounter about more examples. And uh, so, uh, next, uh, what there is an another activity, activity 5. For that, you have to take some seeds of moong or chana. Moong or chana. Uh, dry seeds of moong or chana and uh, put it in a container filled with water. On the next day, you just drain out the water. And cover the seeds with a uh, wet cloth. In the following day, what we can see? Yes, some changes are there. What? A small white structure may have grown out of the seed. A small white structure may have grown out of the seeds. Okay. That white structure, we can say sprouted seeds. Sprouted seeds. Sprouted. Okay. So, these are the important points related to food materials and sources and plant parts and animal products as food. All these are very familiar to you. Am I right? Yes. Very simple also. Main uh, for sources of food. Plants and uh, animals. Some examples are there. Rice and wheat. Vegetables and fruits. All we get from plants. And uh, animals. From animals we get milk, meat and fish. And so many items are there. Okay. And what are the ingredients? Uh, these ingredients we get from where? And uh, some plants have more than one edible part. Okay. All these are the important. A small portion only covered today. So you just uh, read the uh, text and understand clearly. Okay. And think about more examples. That is very important. Okay. You just think about more examples. And trying to do that activity 5. It's very simple. You can see. Sprouted seeds. Okay. Uh, so, I think uh, today we can conclude. Thank you.